What is going on guys, today we are looking at Footies Vidra, he is one of the real OG Silver Team of the Weeks from Silver Sensations, and we have got him at a very, very easy SBC. The SBC is 15,000 coins, but to be honest, if you have not got, I think it's 7 commons and 3 rares or something like that in your club, then I don't know what is, but it is a cracking card that is 74 rated, but if you look at the in-games on Footbin, you whack an engine on this card, he is a 90 91 rated striker slash 93 rated center forward slash cam he's always been one of the, my favorites in terms of what we got from the the kind of silver sensation silver stars um sb's not just sbc's objectives so i thought you know what i'm gonna be doing a review on him he looks like he could be quite good and we have had a silver team of the week picks added to the code or added to the objectives for this week i don't know how many people are going to be doing it personally if you're going to be rocking a god squad and you come up against a full silver squad don't see how that's quite fair even if you had 11 of vidras there's still going to be that element that the, the better card should win that being said vidra definitely looks like he can hold his own in terms of stats um obviously the defendant's poor but he's a striker we've got great pace on him shooting is pretty much up there with the best of them and obviously passing and dribbling have been increased with that engine if you do want the engine you'll end up with 97 pace 90 passing and also 96 dribbling giving yourself 99 agility and balance I personally would go with engine over anything shooting related because I think that extra boost on obviously his dribbling, his agility balance, as well as passing and pace is more vital than his shooting at, at this point in the game with obviously already 91 shooting. So it's going to be fantastic. I'm interested to see how he goes with it. Let's jump in. We've got no traits and see what he's all about. Vidra down the wing this time. Let's have a look what this, this strike can do. He's got Cannavaro chasing. He's got some great pace on him. Obviously, the passing is not necessarily the greatest, even with the engine. He isn't necessarily going to be your passing striker. It's pretty poor from my part, just running straight out the defender into Vidra. He's going to look for Eusebio. Oh, that's a poor pass. It's the problem with these silvers. Sometimes, yes, the, the stats are increased, but they still have tendencies of, of maybe their kind of silver version and not every stat is absolutely maxed out so there's always going to be a hindrance in comparison to obviously someone who's already 95 rated or 94 rated vidra coming in and he's going to finish that with absolute ease we've changed the formation for him to make a solo striker out of him and he's absolutely working it already four minutes in from the second half and he's already got himself his first goal i feel like that's going to kind of force him to do a bit better and obviously have the support of three cams rather than kind of just having one striker with him vidra coming in back post Gets the header slightly but doesn't manage to get any power on it to overpower this center back there into Vidra, Roberto Carlos again doing his duties. Can we find Alisson Drini with the goal? Just wide of the post. Vidra is going to go for the chip and it is a beautiful lob over the keeper. Vidra into the corner. It's got a little bit of Maradona in support. It's a great ball. Knocks it into Matthias and wallops it into the bottom right. Finds a bit of Eusebio in. It's going to a little chip over to Vidra. It's going to go for the volley. And that is two goals for Vidra. Find Vidra in. Can he get his hat trick? It's going to plunk it away a little bit too much for my liking. Goes round one. And ah, it gets tackled by the second. Little one, two. Back into Vidra, goes with a finesse, and that is a cracking way to get his hat-trick outside of the box with a lovely finesse with a striker's finish right there. Vidra storming away for his fourth. Can we find it? It's going to go linked back. Donnarumma with a great save there, gets straight on him and doesn't mess around. Vidra again. He's got Christiansen with him. Goes for the finesse. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a hope hit there. Vidra's all open for his fourth, and he buries it away with a lovely volley. Vidra with five, and he makes it another goal. Dink in for Vidra. He's going to go with that back heel to make it his second hat trick and to complete the review for him. So going into the overall for Vidra. Obviously, he is still 74. So realistically, he's not going to go into any SBCs. That being said, it is a 70 chem 
free rare the rest gold SBC literally costs you absolutely nothing you can get it done with whatever's in your club it really isn't that difficult um, obviously with an engine on him turns him into a very very good striker and he was picking it up with the big boys really passing it red keeping it around uh, Donnarumma he's obviously going up against centre backs that are 90 plus and I think most definitely these sorts of players are very good in the game there is still tendencies from him that I think you can still see the signs of a little bit of silver in him, but most definitely a very juiced up card nonetheless. I think the one thing that I was kind of surprised is he does have 96 dribbling, but he does have that tendency to maybe not be as agile as I'd like him to be. I don't know if that's just naturally his animations, because obviously being a silver, he's going to have a more slower set of animations compared to your Neymars, your Mbappes, someone who already is that type of rating. But he has been a favourite. Um, obviously, this is the card that pretty much started it off. I don't know if he was actually the first Silver Stars or was this... Um, I think this probably was. That would be make sense for why he is the farewell SBC. But most definitely, I hope they do this next year because it has been something good. If you've been uh, picking up Silver in forms and obviously when it bangs, you know when the money's made. But this is an absolute cracking card. Wouldn't say it's good enough to go a full Silver Team of the Week. Um, silver Team... Uh, foot champs to go with i think that for me is a little bit far-fetched to try and get the two for four and six wins but i believe i have mislooked at them and i think it is if i can have a look it is for three weeks yeah so it is for three weeks so that is actually a little bit better but i think for me you'd have to do it in one or two of the games and kind of hope that somebody else is doing it as soon as somebody comes up with a god squad if you've not got the very best silver team then i think you're just going to get absolutely annihilated that being said there is still plenty of links you've got hudson odoi still kicking around and obviously vidra for absolutely nothing so you can already get two players and more than likely you have kind of kept a few of the silver players that you've got throughout the year i know personally i have i probably can field a team quite easily but chemistry is going to be the next question I think Vidra for me, if I was rating him out of a striker, I'd be looking around about the 9.1 to 9.3. I wouldn't say he's absolutely cracked, but definitely in the silver teams, he's going to be an absolute monster against any other silver players. Hopefully you did enjoy though. I thought, you know what, we'll give him a go and we will be doing Hudson Odoi later if we can get him completed in time. Just to kind of give you some clarity on obviously what silvers are like. Are they actually boosted up to the point where they could beat gold squads? Because if you are trusting yourself to go into a weekend league match against a gold squad, are you going to be, is it worth just quitting basically or can they actually perform? So let me know down below what you think about Vidra if you have completed him. I can imagine everybody will do just purely for the fact that he is very, very easy to complete. But other than that, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.